Hey and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a really quick review of the Nukeproof Horizon Pro pedals uh, because I bought them for both of my bikes and I just kind of uh, want to give you guys a sense of what I love and what I don't love about these pedals. Uh, I've got them both on my downhill bike and had them on my trail bike um, and so I've got a bit of, bit of experience with them. Uh, first off, uh, they're really well built. They've got beautiful colors. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That was part of the reason I went with them. There are a lot of great pedals on the market and sometimes you just have to go with a really good one that also looks good. Uh, they're machined on the, on the surfaces where your shoes go and then they've got, um, they're anodized, shot being anodized on the surfaces where you don't touch it all that much. Um, unfortunately, because they're aluminum and like all aluminum pedals, as soon as you strike it, you take a bit of uh, uh, the color off, but it's really not that bad considering I've got a season on them and they're downhill pedals. Uh, as you can see, they spin fairly easily, not quite as easily as some other pedals I've seen, but not an issue. Um, my feet are pretty stable on it. Um, it's about on par with my old DMR V12s. Um, maybe a little bit less grip, but for the most part, uh, not an issue. And the ones on here on my downhill bike have lasted really well. I've got about 10 park days and a few other days on them, and I've had absolutely no issues with them at all. Unfortunately, uh, it's a little bit of a different story with my uh, with the pair that I have um, on my trail bike. So basically, this is what you get in the box. You get a neat little box and uh, so these are the ones for my trail bike and as you can tell even though I've had no strikes on it at all there's you know the aluminum is still nice and beautifully machined two of the pins have fallen out here another both of them have fallen out here and that's just I mean um, that's a little bit disappointing same with the other pedal um, everything is good here but I'm missing a pin here and again there's you know no real obvious damage here so that was a little bit disappointing uh, on top of that on one of these the this little end cap um, bolt that's here that came loose and the whole pedal started moving side to side uh, quite a bit now the good thing is that I bought these from Chain Reaction Cycles and they were good enough to uh, send me uh, a pin kit so I get to, I'm just going to uh, replace these pins and I hope that they'll be fine. Uh, I really don't know what to, uh, what to make of this because these pedals were a little bit disappointing that they started kind of uh, losing pins and falling apart almost immediately and then I've had these on the downhill bike for for all season long and I've had zero issues with them at all. So um, I would say I'm hoping that the purple ones were just kind of uh, um, uh, the, the odd one out because I've read really good reviews about them. Um, for the price, really I paid $100 uh, each for these pedals, um, or for a pair of pedals. For the price, they're fantastic pedals. They look great, they grip well. Um, and and like I said, the red ones here, they lasted fantastically. I'd have no problem um, recommending them. What I would say, however, given my experiences with these ones, is if you're going to buy these pedals, make sure that you kind of do a, almost like a pre-flight check with these. Before you put them on, tighten everything, tighten the bolts at the end, tighten all the, uh, all the, the pins here, because um, I think some of the, the quality checks may not be as stringent as they possibly could be. So... Uh, with that said, I would I would recommend these pedals, especially if you're on a budget. I've had a few new proof parts, stems, stuff like that. Um, no issues with them whatsoever. They they do make some very uh, high quality products. Um, but just as a, a little uh, heads up, that if you're going to buy these, make sure that you you kind of. Um, uh, a, give them a final assembly check before putting them on your bike um, other than that I think I'm, I'm happy with them uh, with that said I think these are going to become my my winter pedals for my trail bike and I've got a set of DMR vaults to go on in the summer and once I start putting those on and riding with those I'll give you guys a kind of a side-to-side -side comparison like I said they're about on par with my old v12s um, what they're really much better at is that they're 
far thinner than the V12s were. So they, they do strike a, a little bit less and they are less chunky looking. They've also got a nice big uh, platform area. I've had no real issues even when I was just wearing old skate shoes. I've had no real issues with, uh, um, with staying on the pedals. So give these a shot. Just make sure that you, uh, you tighten everything first so you don't start losing pins. All right, well, if you would like me to cover anything else, whether it's tech tips or uh, trail guides around Vancouver Island, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and see you guys soon. Happy trails.